Okay, today we're gonna do a we're gonna we're gonna take a shot at a formation flight. Uh, come out of Sanford. That's why we're sitting here with our iPads out. We're planning, you know, our route and our direction and our altitude, and see if that'll balance on there. No, and working. so the goal here is to be safe. To um, make sure the only one plane is moving at a time in the um, formation. And uh, that's kind of what I found on YouTube. So that's what we're going to do. Yep. You're going to be the lead plane coming yep. up. We're going to go to Mallet Intersection. And then you're going to be at 5,500 feet. We're going to be at 3,500 feet. And we'll find you there. Okay. Um, and then we'll come up underneath and to the either right or left of you. That match your altitude. And then we'll go and direct Melbourne. And then uh, on to Vero for lunch. I don't want to hear either one of you say, I got you on the fish finder. <laughs> <Gotcha>. <laughs> I didn't know watch, we could do watch, that. <laughs> I didn't know we could do that. So look at this. So I'm going to tape this screen. There's our route of flight. You don't have to. You don't have to do it. I'll tape it. Okay. I'm, I'm recording the screen. Oh. Okay. So there's our route of flight. I'm going to start KSFB. We're going to go southeast to this Mallet IFR intersection, and then we can kind of line up along the coast. For the formation flight in line with the Melbourne VOR and down into Vero Beach where we're expecting one two right you said yeah it looks like it for right yeah. now yeah it's gonna be one two right most likely yeah, one two right through the winds yeah cool and how do I turn that off stop oh, so now cool. I can pull that in cool cool and just and just for giggles now I'm gonna have to find you on the fish finder <laughs> <laughs>
Red Aircraft uh, I-6 Delta Mike. I believe it was a Cirrus. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, and say your request. Oh, yes, sir. Full stop. We got hotel. We're 2,500, uh, just on the north uh, west side of the airspace, about uh, five miles out. And uh, Cirrus uh, 6 Delta Mike, uh, Roger, report the VOR on final for Romain 1 2 right, please. I report the VOR on final for 1 2 right, uh, 6 Delta Mike. And Vera, 3A3 Juliet Tango, also a Cirrus, about eight miles to the west, circling uh, near the VOR. Juliet Tango, Roger, stay at that altitude. I have other aircraft uh, inbound. I'm going to get you in here as soon as I can. I just want to confirm you're in an SR-20, is that correct? As a permit, sir, SR-20. I'll get you in here as soon as I can. Thank you. Cirrus 8, Juliet Tango, go ahead and make a left turn and start turning inbound towards the airport. If you can, please keep your speed up. Okay, turning inbound toward the airport. We'll try to keep it fast. For Juliet Tango. Cirrus 8, Juliet Tango, keep that uh, speed up for me. 1 2 right, you're clear to land. Disregard the reporting point. Okay, 1 2 right, clear to land. 3A3, Juliet Tango. Okay, that was probably one of the busiest. Arrivals I have ever had in this plane. Plus, I'm traffic, traffic. trying to maintain separation with uh, Vern and Mike. Delta Mike, negative, sir. Just remain the frequency Fox Drive Delta and hold short from a 1 2 right at uh, Delta for me, please. And I feel bad for that tower guy because he was busy. Cherokee 2 Alpha Charlie suggests you fly to 0 0 contact Palm Beach to Ponch. Link 080 and contact from Bay Departure, uh, Alpha Charlie. So yeah, that was a, that was a ton of fun. Re real busy. I've never actually landed at this airport, personally, but... Roger, behind that uh, Cirrus taxi, only one two right via Charlie, cross from A4. Stand by, I'll call you back. Okay, that was a crazy trip. Your Niner Echo, a Delta clear time. So next we go home, we gotta fix the camera. Expect flight level four zero zero one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency one two three point six two, and squawk seven six. So, I feel bad for that guy because he was busy. Let's go get lunch.